tomorrow, September 6, as a result of the forthcoming presidential election petition tribunal judgment scheduled to be passed on Wednesday tomorrow, September 6, 2023. The Nigeria police has strengthened its deployment across the length and breadth of Nigeria. The police wishes to retreat the commitment to ensuring the safety of lives and property before, during, and after the judgment. The Nigeria Police Force has diligently placed all necessary deployments and security measures during this critical period as officers and men are fully prepared to maintain order and enforce laws while respecting the rights and freedoms of all citizens. Furthermore, the Nigerian Police Force strongly cautions all individuals, including mischief makers and political gladiators, to be cautious in their actions and statements as a force will not condone activities capable of inciting violence or causing a descent into anarchy. It is imperative for all citizens to embrace peace and maintain calm regardless of their political affiliations, to ensure a peaceful and secure environment. The police is dedicated to its duty of protecting and serving the Nigerian people and is committed to carrying out these roles with professionalism, impartiality, and utmost dedication. Together, we can ensure a peaceful and secure environment for all of us during this period and beyond this period. Thank you. As far as we're concerned, he contested presidency and then now is an elected senator, re um, returned by the Supreme Court, and you cannot contest two offices. As far in the same election, you cannot. It is on record he contested presidency. Supreme Court now says he's senatorial candidate, and then he sits as Senate President to give us this kind of uh, opinion. Um, um, uh, it is very, very difficult for me to say this, but I will have to say it. Such an irresponsible person must never be listened to. As far as we're concerned, he contested presidency and then now is an elected senator, re, um, returned by the Supreme Court, and you cannot contest two offices as far, in the same election, you cannot. It is on record he contested presidency. Supreme Court now says he's senatorial candidate, and then he sits as Senate president to give us this kind of uh, opinion. Um, um, uh, it is very, very difficult for me to say this, but I will have to say it. Such an irresponsible person must never be listened to. Okay. As far as we're concerned, he contested presidency, and then now is an elected senator, re um, returned by the Supreme Court, and you cannot contest two offices as for in the same election, you cannot. It is on record he contested presidency.